Clarence Thomas's wife knows exactly why people are nice to her and why billionaires make sure that her take-home pay is much, much higher than her husband's. You know, I'm from Washington, so I don't really trust angels sidling up and offering you to do things to help. It's like, what do you want? You want my husband, don't you? <laughs> yes, they want your husband. Politico is reporting that Clarence Thomas's wife's income comes from a business she runs called Liberty Consulting. Here's what we don't know about Liberty Consulting. Who contributes how much money to Liberty Consulting? How much of that money is taken home by Virginia Thomas as income to her and to Clarence Thomas? And how does all of that income to Clarence Thomas affect his votes on the Supreme Court. Politico reports that in financial disclosure forms, Clarence Thomas, quote, would go on to simply list that his wife had received money from her consulting business without detailing how much or from whom or whether any of the people paying her had interests before the Supreme Court. Joining us now is Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island. He's a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He's chair of the Subcommittee on Federal Courts. He's also the host of the podcast, Making the Case. Uh, Senator Whitehouse, so there's uh, Virginia Thomas saying she knows exactly why people are nice to her, why they want to get close to her, why they want to supply her with income, presumably. And here's Politico uh, reporting more on the mass machinations of that essentially secret income that she has. Yeah, the first uh, thing to consider here is that she's married to a Supreme Court justice and they have obligations to make disclosures so that people can evaluate whether there are conflict of interests that are emerging. And instead of doing that fairly, i.e. in a way that involves the people who are making those donations, she sets up a corporation from which she takes all her money and all of the donors to her, all of the people who are paying her, give money to the corporation. And rather than disclose who the real donor is, she only discloses that her corporation has given her money. This was a similar stunt to what Gorsuch did with regards to the sale of his personal property. He only reported the sale, the proceeds of the LLC, his corporation, corporate entity that held the property, his own corporate entity, giving the money to him. He did not report who gave the money to the outside entity, so it's, uh, to the, his own entity. So it's, you know, it's another example of the Supreme Court not taking seriously its obligations under the ethics statutes, because it's painfully obvious what they're there for. And the idea that you can set up an intermediating, private, self-controlled corporation and then only report what it's giving to you is um, just wrong. And, and let's be clear, income to Virginia Thomas is Clarence Thomas's income. It is every bit as much his own income. So this is a Supreme Court justice's income we are talking about. Yes, and remember that part of this income is coming from, for instance, Leonard Leo, who has directed uh, payments to her and who in the story helped set up her 501c4, um, which I'm confident she received money from, and he is deeply enmeshed in this whole billionaire influence scheme around the Supreme Court. So this is not just a question of uh, a woman who has a job, who gets payment, and it's all you know on the up and up and completely independent of anything else. A lot of this money that is undisclosed when we do find out where it's coming from, it's coming from that same network of billionaire influencers who are running and managing and help select and are giving instruction to the Supreme Court. 
Well, Clarence Thomas has said one of his career ambitions was to get really, really rich. It turns out uh, his wife figured out, and he figured out through his wife, exactly how to do that. Uh, Senator Whitehouse, we have to squeeze in a commercial break here. Uh, on the other side of the commercial, uh, I want to see what progress we have made, if any, on uh, Justice Alito uh, recusing. And I say progress because at least he's explaining why he won't recuse. We'll, we'll be right back.